Now let's look at the big picture of accounting. And, and when I talk about big picture, we're talking about something that's called the conceptual framework. The, it's kind of the grammar of the financial accounting language, and we'll, it, we'll get into that more a little bit later, but it makes up the components of what is more formally known as this conceptual framework of accounting. So in other words, the conceptual framework of accounting is the collection of concepts that guide the manner in which accounting is practiced. So one component is the terms. So there are just a number of terms that are fundamental that you have to understand, like assets, liabilities, and equities that are used to identify and describe economic information. And so they're part of this conceptual framework. Then there are very key principles that are used to measure economic information, like revenue recognition, the matching principle, and the cost principle. So these are also an integral part of the accounting conceptual framework. Now there are also assumptions that are used by accountants when communicating economic economic information that are also important elements of the conceptual framework. So these assumptions include the economic entity assumption, the monetary unit assumption, the time period assumption, and the going concern assumption. So other concepts that guide the manner in which accounting is practiced include those qualitative characteristics that we just went through. And so that's the understandability, relevance, and so on. Remember, there were seven of those. The types of financial statements used to communicate economic information are also a key part of the conceptual framework. And again, we've gone over these already. So as we discussed, the balance sheet shows a company's assets, liabilities, and equity at a specific point in time. On the other hand, an income statement presents a company's revenues and expenses over a specific period of time. The two other financial statements that we talked about are the statement of retained earnings and the statement of cash flows, and these two are part of this conceptual framework.